Hello? Ah, <sighs> Dr. C. Dr. Klaus. Oliver? Duh. What do you need? I don't know, I just wanted to talk. Okay, about what? I don't know, just life. Do you know how many shopping malls there are in the world, Dr. Carls? Okay, Oliver. If this isn't important, I'm gonna hang up. I'm just so bored. And I'm so alone. I told you, the room's not gonna be ready for a couple weeks. We're gonna have to delay our meetings until then. But I'm super bored. This is my house. This is my house. I'm super bored in my house. Okay. Look. I'll tell you what, how about this week, I pair you up with someone. Ah, uh, what do you mean? Since you guys couldn't control yourselves on your own, how about if I team you up with someone, that way you guys can keep each other in check. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome! God, that sounds great. I love you. Who am I being paired up with? Since we have an odd number, I'll pair you up with, um... Tim and Aiden. Wait, 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 wait. Why can't I be with Quentin? Well, I think you'd be the best person to bring him back to reality considering they're constantly in a fake one. I'll team Quentin up with Jeff. Okay, uh, so, uh, what do we do? Just help restrain each other as much as you can before we go back to the usual meeting room. Sounds good, so when are we gonna start, Dr. C? As soon as possible. I'll call the others right now. All right, all right, goodbye. Okay. Oh, hello? What was that? All right, good. Wait, what? Okay, oh, I'll... Goodbye. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Hello? 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 Ready to lose some money? Uh, from what I recall, Dr. Carl specifically told us not to engage in our addictions. Uh, did he not? Exactly. That's why I'm teaching you poker. Uh, but you're still doing your- Listen, listen. After I teach you poker, we can focus on blogging or vlogging or, or clogging or whatever it is you do. But Dr. Carl told you- Look, look, look. We're both learning something new. That counts, right? I suppose. I mean... Of course it does. Now let's play some poker. Alright. So the first rule of poker is that you never want to show your hand. Just been dealt. A queen of spades. And two diamonds. <laughs> Send. Never mind. Greetings, Tim. Hey. This way. Down. Yeah. We made a character for you already, Aiden. A human warrior. The appearance is sublime. It looks just like me. What about me? I gave you one of my old characters. It has over 500,000 gold. Buy whatever you want. Oh, that's so good. Your bet. I bet. Ten. Ten chips. He either has something big, or he's bluffing. Rookies don't know how to bluff, and the percentage of him getting a two pair are high. Just bluffed my hand. <laughs> I have nothing. I have nothing. I'm in. Shucks. L-O-S-T. Lost. <laughs> this will be easier than I thought. Ah! 
I strike the warlock and he still has yet to go down. He has a protective shield, Aiden. This is unrealistic. No one in my career would ever do it. He's a warlock that can cast spells. My blows would have taken him out. I just fought a white tiger. White. Look, Quinnen, since you're new at this, I'll cut you some slack. Let's start over. Since you already know how to play now, it'll be more of a challenge for me. Oh, why, thank you very much, uh, Jeffrey. Okay, your bet. Mm, I am, um, how you say, um, all in. Whoa, Quinnen. I just gave you back all your chips. Don't you think you should- Just bluffed again. <laughs> I have nothing. I have nothing. I tried to teach you, Quinnen. Two pair. Maybe next time you'll learn. Hold on, just a jiffy. Races. Wait a minute, weep. Wait, what? Just bluffed about bluffing. <laughs> Took all of Jeff's money. <laughs> LMFAO, 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 LMFAO. You piece of shit. Jump and stab. Defend yourself, warrior. Uh, this is madness. You're not pressing the command. You have to use the commands on this side. Why can't I just kick him to the ground and stab him? That's completely unrealistic. No, this is completely unrealistic. All right, guys, I made up my mind. I'm going to buy a white tiger. What? I'm going to buy a white tiger. They don't sell white tigers, Oliver. Well, I'm going to buy one, and it's the last thing I do. God! I'm leaving. God. Why am I a ghost? What is this? Ah! No! Hello? Turn bail on my last box! What? Who is this? It's Tim! Aiden's gone for all mode! Uh, I don't understand. What's what's going on? You can't handle it! Handle what? Hold on, I have another call. Hello? I, I can't do this anymore, Dr. Carls. Jeff? I, I, I lost? Ten dollars. Ten. Well, I told you that's what gambling does. And why are you gambling? I thought Quentin was supposed to be there helping you. He's the one who took all my money. He's a monster. And I created him. Jeff, he's not a monster. I told you gambling eventually just leads to loss. He's a monster. A green money taking monster. Hold on, hold on. I, I have Tim on the other line. Tim? Sir Carlos, it is I, Aiden. Tim is busy at the time. So, what happened exactly? Well, first of all, I ran into one of those foul beasts called Horus. Then a bloody warlock came. Dr. And Carlos, he has me hostage. Uh, Call the counter terrorists or something. Shut it. Quiet you! What happened? Where's Oliver? Oh, hold on, hold on. Hello? Hey, Dr. Carls. Where are you? I thought I told you to stay with Tim and Aiden. Just want to let you know, I'm going to go and buy a white tiger. What? I hear Siberia has a lot of white tigers. And they also have a lot of snow. I've never seen snow before in my life, but who cares? All right, I'm going to see you later, okay? Wait, Oliver, hold on. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Okay. Hey, bye. Oliver, wait, hey. Okay, bye. Wait, Oliver. Hello? Oh. Oh. 
I need your help. <laughs> Come on in. Seems like everything I do, it just ends up in disaster. Well, being your first run at addicts, I think you're doing a great job. But I, I need to get through to them. I'm at a dead end, Dr. Leon. We're friends, Greg. No need for formalities. Sorry. Well, you know, there are other methods out there than the ones you've tried. Well, that's why I came here to see you. I mean, what have you done with your patients that makes you so successful? Well, see, I base my treatments on who my patients are and what they need. In your case, it sounds like instead of pushing your patients away from their addictions, they need to be overexposed to them. What do you mean? Have you ever heard of the method of how to quit smoking? You know, where you lock yourself in a closet and you smoke until you get sick of it? Yeah. You see, that's exactly what you need to do with your patients. You drastically increase the volume of their addictions in a short amount of time until eventually they get sick of it. That's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I know just how to do it. Quack, 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 quack.